Radio show, ladies and gentlemen, gotta love the system of a down. Sad statue is the track. If you're wondering, and I think that's off of uh, hypnotize. Yeah, hypnotize, not mesmerize. Both excellent. No, no, mesmerize, not hypnotize. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, and we've got Larry Pratt with us in the first hour. We're going to be going to him after the break. I just want to give you a little taste of what we're going to cover tonight on the show. Obviously, this DHS document just starting to break into the mainstream media. We did the report on the disgusting Washington Times article and really broke that down yesterday. Uh, Lou Dobbs did something a little more admirable today. We're going to play that clip. And uh, on top of that, some of the other news out there that's kind of disturbing. Look, I don't like Michael Savage. I don't like Michael Savage one bit. Um He's kind of awakened some of my right wing friends and he's like, wow, Savage is really talking a lot like you lately, Burmis. I, you know, he's talking New World Order and Reichstag fires. I, I just can't believe it. And I'm like, well, at the same time, he won't talk about 9 11, but I am not a fan of the fact that now he's being lumped in with, I mean, apparent racists, you know, abhorrent people. But even those people should have the right to say what they want. That's what makes this country great. You know, I may not agree with what you have to say, but I will defend your right to say it to the very end. And that's that's the way it should be. That's what the First Amendment's about. The U.K. saying, no, we've got 16 people on a list and they're not allowed to come here. And by the way, some of those people are people like Fred Phelps. Uh, You know, if you don't know who Phelps is, I I don't want to say what he says, but, you know, he's outrageous in my opinion. Uh, Even Phelps is kind of softball, but they're not saying six of the people. And you got to wonder, who's the six that they refuse to list and uh, publicly name? Because obviously, you know, they're making a big deal out of this savage thing. And uh, people need to be hey, really pay attention. So we're going to go into that more in depth. And now we apparently have the first death in the United States. And it's this school teacher due to swine flu. Uh, very questionable, in my opinion, on what's really going on here. I mean, did this woman have a bad immune system? She's 33 years old. But then it's equated with this headline that I read, and thanks to all those who are giving me tips over at Facebook and MySpace, without you, you know, this wouldn't be possible, this kind of a news blitz, because you give me so many things that I don't get to see. Swine flu likely to return to U.S. next winter, just in time for the Baxter vaccination patches, huh? All right, come on in, Baxter. Roll it up. (laughs) Roll. Ah. Absolutely ridiculous. And uh, we got, let's see, M- Manchester launching ID cards in England. I mean, it's really, really bad there. I mean, it's it's awfully, I mean, the cameras, if you live in London, and this is now a conservative number, you are photographed or filmed 300 times per day from the CCTV cameras there. 300 times in a day. Think about that. All right, so there's 24 hours in a day. Let's, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say they're getting eight hours of sleep. Now, there's 16 hours left. Okay, that means 16 hours left. And let's face it, we're going to spend some time in our home when we're not getting photographed by CCTV cameras. Let's say we spend only, I'm going to go really conservative here. On top of sleep, you spend two hours in your house. That's it. 14, 14 hours out of the day. That means twice, what is it? No, no, 20 times per hour? Let me see, 10, yeah. 20 times plus per hour you're being filmed and photographed. Can anybody say Big Brother? I mean, it's there. And then we've got this scoop on people trying to protest against Scientology. And it's just like, you're on the sidewalk. We're going to arrest you. Get out of here. Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America up after this. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, PrisonPlanet.tv. And don't forget about my little website, TheInfoWarrior.com. The good old folks at New Silver Solution. And the website is supernaturalsilver.com, supernaturalsilver.com. 
Uh, this is something that kills bacteria, viruses, you name it. Well documented. And they've got it down to a super small nano-sized particle. Supernaturalsilver.com. Check them out at InfoWars.com. Supernaturalsilver.com.